Shalom, this is Rabbi Yehuda Levin. Earlier tonight in Lakewood, a shameful fundraiser was held by two ostensibly in, in honor, quote unquote, of two ostensibly Orthodox Jews, Mark Kalish, who a rabbi, so-called, who was a lobbyist for the powerful Orthodox umbrella organization, I go to Israel of America for 16 years, cut a dirty deal with outgoing representative of Rogers Park, Skokie, Illinois, Lou Lang, as reported in the North Cook County papers, which alleges that there was a deal made that he would give Lang his lobbying contacts and Lang would appoint him to his seat, which was done, and he became the representative in the special appointment. And Kalish immediately promised in the Chicago Sun-Times, the Chicago Tribune, Politico, the Jewish Telegraphic Agency, that he would be pro the LBTQ RST agenda. He voted in favor of compelling public school students from K through 12 to be propagandized. He kept his thing. He voted in favor of casino stuff, which is anathema to religious people and family people. It causes terrible breakup of families, drug addictions, prostitution, and all kinds of garbage. How this rabbi could be supporting the gaming industry is beyond me. And I think he voted for marijuana. He refused to vote against the most obscene, ultra-liberal, baby-murdering abortion bill in the country, acknowledged as such by Planned Parenthood, etc. And here, his buddy from Passaic, New Jersey, who also calls himself an Orthodox Jew, Gary Sher, who also votes for the same kind of garbage, it's ultra, ultra progressive, anti-Jewish religious values. And here, the nursing home people and the wealthy people and Rabbi Aaron Cutler are busy feeding these people, F-E-T-E, -E, feeding them, celebrating them for their betrayal of Judaism, Jewish values, religious values, and stuffing them with money. It's a sad and shameful day. And I find it necessary to say that we shall overcome. We condemn this. We condemn these people. They don't represent traditional Jewish values. They're an embarrassment to us. And we plead with God for forgiveness. We plead with God for forgiveness for the shame that these people are bringing on the rest of the Jewish nation. Nothing hateful here. We're using freedom of speech to say that what they are supporting is anathema to biblical believing people of all religions, Muslims, Christians, and Jews alike. We also have freedom of speech. I don't know if I have much longer.